Is round two gonna work? Question. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it. Is it live? Is it actually live? Can you see the video? <laughs> okay. Can you hear me, Arthur? Because basically at this point, I don't know. Because Twitch is not showing anything for me. Loud and clear. Okay. All right. I'll take your word for it then. I have no idea. I started streaming and I was waiting for the uh, the page to refresh. It didn't do anything. So I stopped streaming, waited a little bit, started to stream again. So, all right. Whatever it was, I did. Yeah, no, Twitch. Uh, right. Uh, as I totally didn't do the introduction already. Uh, <laughs> it's Tuesday. And we're role playing, uh, role playing ourselves some Fallout. Uh, the weird failed little module. Okay, all right. Okay, um, role playing some Fallout. And last time, uh, we visited Tenpenny Tower, and then we went to uh, some convenience store uh, down the road a little bit, and. Um, then we found ourselves in front of the Dunwich building. For those of you who have played this game before, yeah, we're doing that tonight. <laughs> There'll probably be more after Dunwich building, because I don't think this whole building will take an hour to fully um, appreciate. But, you know, yeah, that's the core of this particular stream. So, without further ado, roleplay starts now okay i guess uh i guess this is where we're sleeping what time is it Ugh. yeah no it's already 15 past midnight i'm going to find a bed just to... holy crap i hear something oh there's Staticky radio, but I also hear breathing. I'm not alone in here. There's journal entries. Three, four, five. Oh, there's number two. Okay. They were slightly out of order. Oh, I guess, uh, fine skeleton folk were kind enough to leave me some stim packs. Don't mind if I do. In fact, I'm going to use one right now. <laughs> hey, there's some bottle caps. I'll take them. Always coming in handy. Always need to buy more ammo, so. Speaking of ammo, um,. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four uh, skeletons the moment I walk in the building. So that's, that's, that, that's a good sign. Grenades, can always sell those. And some 556 ammo. Not a lot, but some. Better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> What the hell? That's <laughs> uh, uh, six for anyone keeping score. And where's the static radio? I would very much pr Oh, hello. Yes. And there are ghouls. Can I shoot it in the head without it seeing me? Yes, I can. Well, that one saw me. Dang it. That's fine. I don't think any of the others heard me. I heard more coming from down that way, so... I'm gonna keep this quiet. 
and I'll take this particular ghoul's bottle caps. I'm not entirely sure it knows what those are anymore, so... I will take them. Uh, that's eight, if anyone's keeping score. Uh, nothing interesting there. Nothing on that desk. Uh, this one. I'll take the dart. Come on, <laughs> can always throw it at something, I guess. Yeah, you can always sell the carton of cigarettes. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, sir. I almost stepped on your head. That's nine. Well, if you want to count the ghouls, we're up to eleven. I mean, are they? I guess they would still be alive, right? I know, I know radiation is magic in the world and it breaks, well, it breaks everything, including the laws of physics. But... I don't think they're zombies, necessarily, right? <laughs> they seem to die if you shoot them anywhere. So... I guess they're technically alive. Certainly the non-feral ones are. Oh. Found another journal entry. I suppose I should listen to these and the source of the static, so you get shut down. Alright, let's uh let's listen to Jamie, shall we? Where's entry number one? Why the hell would he come all the way out here? Dad's been a little nuts for some time now, but not like this. Leaving me in that crappy old hospital without waking up. Without a goddamn flashlight. I made enough selling the meds we scrounged to have kept us both fed at the colony for weeks. Now I'm almost out of rations, my shoes are pretty much destroyed, and I'm still chasing the old coot. By my last reckoning, he was headed south. Okay, so this is before he came in. Maybe I shouldn't have waited so damn long to start tracking him. Trail's gone cold. I'm gonna wander with these guys a while. They say they wander the area. Maybe somebody's seen Dad. Okay, that's not much better. These guys aren't who I thought they were. Jesus, they killed that family. For a sack of rotten vegetables. Getting out of here next chance I can without catching a bullet. Okay, that's not helping. Get a caravan today. Trev didn't see the kid and got popped. I took care of Tawny right then and put one in Thor before he saw her fall. That earned me some grub from the traders. Even better, they saw Dad. He was in pretty rough shape and still has the goddamn book. The trader says it gave him the creeps. Me too. But it's good to know he's still alive. Still headed south. Ah, oh, they're right above me. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to what Jamie was saying there because, um... Found someone else. <laughs> uh, along with some of my favorite ammo. Very hard to come by, but definitely my favorite. Oh, there's some more back there. Er, Gimme. Er, okay. More grenades? Yeah. And an ammunition box where I shall pick this. Yeah. Trying to pick that like it's Fallout 4. Not gonna happen. Um, some mines. Eh, if I have. If I have enough spare room, I'll come back for the mines. But. Right now. I'm a little more worried by what's happening upstairs. How are the lights still on? Ooh. Shit! <laughs> Where's the other one? There. Okay. Dang it, there's another! Okay. One more. Ooh, those explode! Okay. Uh, that. <laughs> okay, uh, good to know. You shoot a fire extinguisher, it explodes. Might be useful. Seems rather counterintuitive, though. Something you're, you're supposed to fight a fire, and the moment you put a bullet's worth of pressure on it, it explodes and makes it worse? I... 
Well, it's not like there's anyone making those anymore, so the world's already gone to shit. Bottom floor. Right, um, Jamie, where was I? Oh yeah, four. Let's I go to five. Must have been trying to trap food here. I recognize his snares. I can make out a building on the horizon. That must be where he headed. If not, at least I get a roof to mend. Oh, Jamie came in here with very much the same idea I did. Uh, yeah, the roof is. Well, I suppose it's the roof itself is there, even if. The paint is not all there anymore. Okay, what's number six? That was ominously in front of the radio. Don't like the look of this place. Don't like the smell. Gives me the creeps. Don't want to risk a shot at the crows till I know what's in there. Sneaking in tonight. Okay, looks like once again we had the same idea. And thus far, this little uh, silenced ten mil pistol has been doing a job. There's nothing here. What's in here? Money. Give me the money. I mean, if anything, I'll walk out of this place rich and full of ammo. <laughs> that is, unless I get swarmed by a bunch more ghouls, but they seem to go down fairly easily, so it's probably fine. Right, just a paperweight. Okay. That leads back into that corridor, that leads back to where we came from, which I guess is where we're going, because there's nothing else here. Okay. Oop. There's more light up ahead. Just gotta be careful, because the floor seems to have collapsed. I know I just came from downstairs, but that does not look familiar. Oh, hello. Someone's, uh, someone's ripped the back panel. And that looks like an explosive charge, so I'ma let you sit. You, you sit. <laughs> Nothing there. What's around the corner? More nothing. Oh, hello. Why didn't it attack me? I only shot it in the head a couple of times, but... How did I not hear it? It was right here. I was on the other side of that wall. <laughs> Another set of stairs out. Wait. I don't remember that terminal. How did I walk right past that terminal without, uh, I, well, I've lost count of the amount of skeletons and ghouls, so. Oh. Yeah, no. Someone's been tampering with the terminal, so I'm going to just let it sit. And I think this is as high as we go. The building looked like it had more th more than two stories from the outside, but... I guess that's the collapsed corridor, so I'm guessing the top floor is all completely gone. Maybe. Just maybe. Someone set up a bed down here. There's another skeleton. Okay, so th this is the rubble that fell when the uh, the floor gave out, or the ceiling, from where I'm standing. There's nothing else in this room. What? Eh? I don't... Why have this? People before the war... That 
blood doesn't look like it's been here very long. Another skeleton. And another one of Jamie's personal entries. But what's new, Jamie? The raiders told spook stories about zombies in the ruins. Never saw anything like that where I come from. Lord help me. They're real. Not quite what Thor said, but close. These things look... I think they really used to be people. Okay. So Jamie... Break a break a one, two. Anyone there? I guess not. Yeah, no. The only body seems to be that one skeleton, but... That skeleton is half buried in the rubble, so it's been here a while. I guess... Alright, I guess... Well, down we go. Or up, as the case may be. To the stairwell we go. <laughs> guess we did end up fighting those stairs after all. Yeah, this side of the building is all caved in. <laughs> what happened? Also, that ghoul was glowing. That's not... No, no, no. I don't think this teeny tiny little pea shooter is going to cut it anymore. <laughs> there it is again. Also, I can see the green glowing particles in the air. This whole place is irradiated. To shit. Okay, let's see if I can take that one out. Oh crap, it's walking this way. Okay, so... Okay. Shit! Alright. Dinner is served. Come and get it. Not gonna go over there, because there's radiation. Well, radiation is magic, so I guess that explains uh, me confusing that particular ghoul in this decrepit building with a reasonably well-maintained one with a person. Okay. I see you. Okay. They know I'm here now. And if I'm not mistaken, they're coming from that door. Maybe? Yeah, they are. Alright, that's... Do your thing. That's one. <coughs> Vats, you gotta let go earlier, man. Ah, oh, I didn't die. Oh, ow. Okay. A shot to the head with a 44 and it doesn't die. What the hell are you made of? Oh no, but you had some bullets. Whoever that person was while well, they were still alive, well, well, they were still sane, I guess. Uh, tough cracker. Anywho, um, there's another one of Jamie's tapes. What you got? God help me. I found Dad today. I didn't think it was him, but the face. The zombies didn't touch him. I think it was becoming like that. Didn't know it was him until I found that old book near him. No more killing. I just need to go. Can't forget the book. All I have left of him. It's warm against the stone. I'll... I'll just rest a while. Okay. Well, this terminal doesn't look like it's been tampered with, so... Uh... Alright, TV 300. Okay. 
and do the reboots. It's still a Robco terminal. Not welcome. There's two in the right place. Well, fair. That would be three in the right... Four in the right place, actually. Beliefs. Could be beliefs. It's not beliefs. Um, leaving. Genuine. Genuine is close. Genuine is very close. Let's see if we can replenish our allowance. We can. <laughs> okay, so genuine. Genuine. Welfare is too close. Uh, helpful. Dealing. Okay. Uh, Alki. I replenished it by finding uh, one of these strings that has, um, like this one. It's a, they're either in brackets, square brackets, curly brackets, uh, the greater than, uh, lesser than type of thing. And this one removed one of the duds. So, dealing has 4 out of 7. Leaving. No, no, that had far more than 4 out of 7. Genuine readily? No. <laughs> I'm applying way too much thought to this. No? Okay. Can we go for round two without having to reboot the terminal? That's a dud. 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 A dud. I don't think we could go for round two. That's another dud. Not much in the way of anything else for us here. Well, hard to reboot it is. <laughs> Didn't need to do that. I already know what kind of terminal it is. Could have just skipped. No, no, okay. Alright, run debug accounts F. Okay. Round two. Finding. Okay, it probably ends in ing. Dad, no. Not dancing. Healing. Five out of seven. Okay, can we get a replenish? No, that was a dud. That was a dud. Though, uh, a replenish on that one would have been pretty funny. Oh, smiley face. Ha ha ha. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a massive nerd. Um, no. Oh, hello. There's our allowance. So, healing. Leading. That's even less. Um, ceiling? Ceiling it is. <laughs> okay. About the dictation software. Ooh, it has dictation software. Software version is version 223. Oh, I see what they did there. Freaking Bethesda. Couldn't have put the gun in the base game, but they made a mention of it. Um, configured to use uh, to user voice, H. Granger. Onomatopoeia dictation is off. Phonetic spelling parser is off. Autocorrect is on. Okay. Wait, when did the world end? I I'm guessing it was... Uh, October 23rd, 2077. Okay. Unintelligible... 
Notice to user, Paxoff LLC recommends against sustained recordings in a low frequency environment. Oh. It recorded the bombs going off. That's amazing. <laughs> Continued use in this manner of all, all hardware warranties, Auto Dictator V223 powering off automatically. These are fairly more recent, although. 2134. What? Uh. M maybe I'm going crazy here, but. It's 2277. That was over a hundred years ago. <laughs> okay, um, what did it record? Also, surprising, still working. What the hell was that? Does it matter? Does it matter? Where is it? Where? Where? There. There. Safe and sound. Jesus, they bled so much. But I kept it clean. 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 Shit. More. Got to move. Got to keep it safe. Oh, is this Jamie? Trying to keep the book safe. My skin. My skin. Barely any left. One of them now. But they know I still have it. Stay back. Back, you. That's close enough. You. And you two. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. One of us. One of us. Who qual thought this returned? I don't know why I'm putting the voice on. I don't even know if that's... Who uh, qual thought? Who qual thought? I came. I came. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Back this time. Deep temple. Screaming. Twisting. No light. No flesh. Deep temple. Born. Deep temple died. Ukwalthoth again. Return. Return. Retribution. Notice the user. Internal memory capacity reached. Pagsoff LLC recommends Pagmem... LLC for all your data storage needs. Please contact your administrator for details. Okay. Impressive bit of kit right there. <laughs> uh, actually, if this isn't terribly irradiated from this side, I would like to um, see what the glowing one had. Oh, the one bottle cap. Was it lucky? Didn't work so well. Okay, we're good. Just go. Get. Get out of here. The top is more irradiate. Well, it's radiation, right? Energy. Energy creates heat. Heat rises, so it would make sense that the, uh, the top was much more radioactive. Oh, well, whatever is there, I can't. Well, I could probably fit through the rubble, but eh, uh, the physics of this world are already pretty shaky as it is. Okay, so the ghouls came running at me from here. There's that one I managed to shoot from downstairs. And they ran down this corridor here. That way is blocked. Uh, past the skeleton. Oh, it's the other side of the rubble. Okay, alright. No need to squeeze through the rubble, then. Okay, good. We've established how they got to me. Although, now that I think about it... Oh, hello. Ooh, first aid box. Gimme. Morphine, comes in handy. Medical brace, eh, just in case. I don't want to break anything, but ooh, hello. A Dean's Electronics. Huh. Box full of detergent and turpentine. So, all right. Let's, um... Oh, that, that was actually very interesting. Okay. I would like to uh, read more of those books. Two more, to be specific. Uh... Oh, there's a lot more building down that way. And ghouls. I can hear the ghouls. So what's in here? I don't know. And uh, judging by that particular lock, I'm not about to find out. 
All right. <clears throat> Actually, I need to add one more weapon to the arsenal. This is pretty broken, so I'm just going to leave that in there. You. You go right here. See if I can take a few of them out from by. Oh, hello. There's one. Shit. <laughs> they hurt me. <laughs> I don't actually have that much ammo for the shotgun. No. <laughs> it goes pretty quickly, all things considered. <laughs> Anyway, if I can take pot shots at them. Wait a second, these explode, don't they? What happens if I just drop one here? That's one. Okay, two, if we count the one that was coming down the corridor. see it. I see it down there. Oh, I see. That's why they're not climbing this place. I missed! Dang it! There you are. I missed! God damn it! Oh, come on, they're not even moving. Oh, well, that one is, but... Seriously? Okay, uh, can I shoot that one then? <laughs> no, no, I cannot. Because they just freaking moved. Well, they know I'm here. They know where I am. But if they're not coming to me, it's probably because they can't. God, thank you. I want to get a clear shot at you. God damn it. The moment they s don't see me anymore, they know I'm trying to move to get an angle on them. God. That door is open. Why aren't they coming? Okay. That's another. God damn it. Okay. There you are. Gotcha. You know, if I stop thinking about it, this becomes so much easier. Um, okay. So. Hello. Yep. <sighs> Probably jump better if I put this away. No? Yes. Hello? Ah. And one more. Ah. I broke reality again. Nurse! <laughs> okay. It's just a bathroom. It keeps flickering in and out of exit. Oh, God. That. That toilet stinks. Um, okay. I'm getting out of the flickery bathroom. You know, it would help if I jumped. Yeah. Yeah, jumping helps sometimes. Right, I, I didn't check out what was on uh, the upper floor here. I don't think there was anything, so. Probably am where I need to be. Actually, not, let's not run through the rubble. Let's not, no. Actually, uh, these guys sometimes have money. Well, currency. It's currency. It's not actually money, but the people outside treat it like it is, so... Oh, wait, I missed the other one. Uh, well... 
I'm guessing these were uh, post-war people that turned into ghouls. Mixed in with the skeletons. Guess that leads back down, so this should lead up the stairs, yes. I guess I could I could have just jumped here and would have been done with the whole thing, but what ifs ow. <clears throat> My ankles. Don't run downstairs, kids. Just don't. Okay. Sliding down the rail. Eh, sure. But don't run downstairs. <laughs> That's just a great big hole in the ceiling. And I'm guessing there's more ghouls downstairs. And this looks awfully precarious. Will this fall if I go across the way here to pick up that holotape? Take your bets now, kids. <laughs> it squeaks, but it doesn't break. And it's still one of Jamie's holotapes. Let's listen to him. Sharp knife. Sharp knife to send him to Deep Temple. Flay and say my words. Abdul comes again on the feast of the weaker. Feast uh, for the deep. They're ball. Born again. Here. al -Hazared. Yes. Yes. al -Hazared. Yes. Yes. Also, who's Abdul? Oh. I guess all that jumping. They, they heard me. Wherever they are. I would like to see if there's anything left in these here uh, cabinets and desk. Can you? No, I don't think I can jump. Reality is breaking again. There we go. Just had to get a bit of a run up on that. Okay. Uh, there, well, there's a Nuka Cola in this desk. Who am I to let a poor. Poor abandoned bottle of Nuka Cola just sit on a desk in a highly irradiated place because I heard the tick tick tick. And since I don't see any other way, I think. Oh, that's a really nice bit of rat axe. Mmm. That feels good. Well, feels better than the radiation anyway. Okay. There's still ghouls down here. Oh yeah, there are. And this is very irradiated. I would like to make my way down as quickly as possible. I just want to get... Ah, there they are. That's one. My aim is still crap, but I got one of them. Okay, that's two. Was it just two of you? Looks like it. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Ooh, that's some powerful red axe. Ah! No one ever told me that it would be uh, that powerful. <laughs> okay. I think I'm down in the sewers now. Yeah, no, that chamber was pretty much irradiated, and I don't have a lot of right away, so. Uh uh. Uh uh uh. uh no. They can keep whatever belongings they had in life. They may keep them. Because I'm not going back for it. Well, whoever the next poor soul is that finds this building and decides, you know what, you know, no, nothing interesting in the uh, fire hydrant or fire hose box this time around. Yeah, for the next poor soul who makes uh, their way into this particular building, 
that they can get that. That that's my little gift to them. Hello. Now. You, on the other hand, I will take your caps. Well, I guess it's a boiler, and it's leaking a little bit, and you can see the steam coming out of the top. And you know what I still haven't found that I came into this building for? A damn bed? That, 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 yeah. Is there a vault down here? For the cave system. I hear whispering. Two, three. What are they huddled around? They keep staring at that. What? Uh, that one's got an assault rifle. <laughs> that one's losing its shit. Um, okay. I don't think I can... Well, maybe. No, that would actually require some accuracy, so... And given that I'm up against a um, an assault rifle, I think this is the way to go. But, let's do it cleverly, shall we? We'll take out the one with the assault rifle first. Make sure they're not gonna come from behind me. That's That wouldn't be helpful. Uh, the one with the assault rifle is moving. God damn it, where are you going? Okay, stay there. Stay there because I can take you out from here. Okay. Right! <clears throat> There's only one way. There was another. Two more. God damn it, that one's wearing armor. Ah! <laughs> that one was wearing armor and I did not know it was down there. Okay. <sighs> oh, hey. At least I got a level up out of it. <laughs> okay, so what did we do this level? We managed to convince um, the Ten Petty Tower guard to let us in. Um, we saved uh, little Timmy. I can't remember his name. And we took him to Rivet City. Um... It was only a few hours ago, and I, I cannot remember. But, so, speech, absolutely. I think uh, well-deserved. A couple of points there. Uh, we sneaked around a lot, managed to get a couple of uh, sneaky kills, so we'll do that. Um, what else? I didn't actually fix anything, though I did have a look while uh, Lucky Harith was fixing my stuff, because... That man is good with his hands, so we'll drop a point there. I hacked into a bunch of terminals because that seems to be what we do now. And what else? I use a bunch of stim packs. I guess I really know how to use the the stim packs. <laughs> I know how to use them good. And I bought a bunch of stuff. Eh. There. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, yes, uh, that that's a very good point there, Arthur. Um, there was a lot, well, leave it there, of shooting involved. There. That, uh, that seems to be a bit more reflective. <laughs> oh god, I've been shooting so many people. I only left a vault, like, what? 16 hours ago? Give or take. Yeah. <laughs> god damn it. Still, you know. All of this, uh, looking for dad thing, um... I think uh, taking the Wasteland Doctor is probably a good idea. At least if I break something, I can fix it properly instead of just setting it back and hoping it heals. Alright, <clears throat> we'll go with that. Bottle caps. I've killed everything. But the whispering continues. Sativex? Why is it in an inhaler? I don't know. Is that how people take Sativex? I don't know. <laughs> is it coming from the pillar? Also, that's an odd thing to have um, sculpted at the bottom of an office building. Also, is that a sword? Holy crap, it is. <laughs> huh. Oh. That's a big sword, too. Well, I suppose if I need to... Sne sneak up on um, someone it'll be useful but yeah no sneaking is all very well and good and um, well if the lining on his boxers is anything to go by hello Jamie I will be taking your assault rifle and your ammo I'm sorry you didn't make it but I guess you get to see your dad now yeah. Speaking of seeing dad, I should get back to that. All of this? Uh, I just wanted a place to sleep. That was it. It's, is it too much to ask? Is it, I'll take. No, I'll. I'll yeah, no. 556 ammo. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give um, there's no bed. I've been all over this building and under it from the look of things. I found a sword. I mean, metal's pretty junky on it, but... Is it coming from the pillar? It does seem to sound the loudest while I'm closest to the pillar, but... What? You, actually, you know what that uh, sound reminds me of? The same background noise uh, from the sixth uh, house <laughs> in Morrowind. That's exactly. I. Yeah, I know that. That that's almost exactly the same. Whispering. House Dagoth. Well, if House Dagoth have uh, crossed brands and made their way into the capital wasteland, well, this... This will be a lot more interesting. I say we keep that closed, shall we? Uh, 
And I suppose this is the only place we haven't been yet. So, if there's no bed here, I... Mm, I don't know. I guess I'll have to keep going towards Girder Shade, which last time around I kept calling Great Edge, but no, no, Great Edge is, uh, is a ways up north. No, it's Girder Shade. Which I have, um, to find Ronald Laren. That was his name, right? And give him the naughty nightwear. That, that's going to be an interesting conversation. Where do you lead? Oh. Maybe I should take another rat axe just to be sure. No, probably shouldn't. I don't have a lot of them. So I think. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Bobblehead. Yeah, bobble that head. Bobble it good. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put you in my pocket. Is that okay? Melee weapons. Well, it is important to drive your points home, I suppose. Okay. Huh? I was in the basement. How am I... Wait a second, is that where I came in? That is. That is where I came in. Down there. Right! Reality is breaking, so... Yeah, no, don't, don't apply logic to it, just go with it. That, that, yeah, no, that's... That's cool. Absolutely. I get it. Mm -mm. Nope, that was just like three levels down. Because I fell through three very irradiated holes. Oh boy, my psychiatrist would have a field day with that. Um, but yeah, no, that 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 is very much the uh, the exit. And I go up one flight of stairs, and all of a sudden I'm on the second floor. Eh? <laughs> I. No. I'm pretty sure even if I just curled up on the floor here somewhere, besides catching something or becoming a ghoul, because that seems to be the uh, the general motto of this building, um, pretty sure j reality would just break around me and I would end up, oh, I don't know, halfway into the wall or the floor that I was sleeping on? And no, there, there, there are, I see, one floor, two floor, three floor, fourth floor. I'm, I'm not, mm. my brain is now tied in a knot trying to m make sense of that, and that would certainly explain how I went down three levels, and then when I went back up, I was on the second floor, that's because that wasn't actually the basement, that was like, ground level. That's a Protectron. Can I... Mm. Slow and clunky. There you go, buddy. Nailed him! <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Ooh, actually, do you know what this is a good time for? Let's try out that sword. Yeah, come on. It's effective. <laughs> okay, granted. I guess one of those lights is, uh, yeah, uh, that one. Yep. It, uh, there's a short somewhere. But no, as it turns out, the katana against the one lowly mole rat. Super effective. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I should probably keep a uh, weapon with ammo on hand. There we go. Got plenty of ammo for this one, so. Is that. <sighs> yeah, Pip Boy says there's something up that way, but. Is that Girder Shade? 
No, greater shade is due north from here. So what is that place? Well, I think we're. Uh, I think we're gonna find out. Also. Okay, so this is a parking lot, right? There's curb all around... Let's see, there's a rail there. Uh, there's curb all around there. Where did the road go? And there's curb going up this way. So this used to be curb as well. How... Yeah, no, I... This place doesn't make any sense anymore. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I, I, I promise I won't tell anyone about you. Okay? Okay. That, no. What the hell is that? There's something else down there too. Oh, the barrels. Now, knowing my luck, it's probably just radiation, so, uh, what's that? Yeah, it's a mole rat. Fairly big mole rat, even from this distance, but, wow, okay. Okay. Let's see if I can take a pot shot at Mr. Mole Rat before he sees me. There we go. Hear them. There they are. One more. I can't hear it. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Now that's just a dick move. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, that's a mole rat. Take a pot shot at the mole rat. There we go. Okay. What else is, uh, up here? That's heavy. That's very heavy, whatever is making that sound. Holy crap. That's a death claw. An alivey one. <laughs> Holy crap, that thing's huge! Also, why is it running away? Well, it's not running away anymore. I think it's coming at me, but it's not entirely sure where I am. I wonder if that can help me lend a few headshots while it's not uh, entirely aware of my presence. Oh crap, that thing's got a lot of health! <laughs> oh! running. You know where I am. You probably saw the muzzle flash. It doesn't. It doesn't know where I am. <laughs> well, if that's the case, excuse me a moment. And, uh, yeah, stay right there in those trees. No, no, stay in the trees. Yeah. I think it knows where I am, but maybe it's stuck? No, it's not stuck anymore. 
It's dead now. Oh, holy crap! That thing would have killed me! Hand, hand. <laughs> Hello. You had a Molotov cocktail and a rock. Okay. Oh. Uh, you were a bit special, weren't you? You found yourself some schematics and you figured, yeah, let's go make ourselves a death claw gauntlet. But, you know what? As a sign of respect, now that the death claw's dead and I don't think there's any more mole rats around, I'm going to drag your sorry ass out into the ditch here. Yeah, n don't give me that look. That was your own stupidity that got you killed, so you deal with that. Can I push the car? No. But, you know, the stupid Wastelander is, um, has found me a bed. How about that? Granted, it's a bit drafty in here. But it's a bed. It's... <laughs> it's 2.30 in the morning. Eh. No, I got... Oh. For a single day, I wake up. I get out of bed. Let's do some recounting, shall we? So... I get out of bed, Amada wakes me up, all rattled up, because her dad ordered Vault Security to kill Jonas, and she gives me her dad's 10 mil pistol, and tells me I need to leave the vault. I leave the vault, I go to Megaton, um, that Moriarty guy asks me for 100 caps to tell me where that went. I never actually went to uh, Galaxy News Radio, because I ended up saving Brian Wilkes, that was his name, and going to Rivet City and finding from Dr. Lee in Rivet City that Dad had already been there and that he'd gone to find a vault. And when I went to uh, Project Purity, where they used to work, I heard that uh, from one of Dad's logs that he, the vault that he went to was... In, hidden inside a garage somewhere west of Evergreen Mills. So I've been coming west the whole time. Okay. That's, uh... Fuck me, that's a lot in a day. Not even counting, you know, uh, the big ant queen that uh, teleported behind me and then got itself stuck in the wall. Or the reality breaking building, or the death claw that I just killed. Ah, that mattress looks like it's seen some, uh, some rough love. But I don't care. Isn't that right, Mr. Gnome? That's right. Tonight, we sleep. For about eight hours. And next time, our adventure, our adventure shall continue. Yes. Thank you all so very much for joining me. Um, t well, <laughs> for another uh, episode of um, Fallout Roleplay. It's getting there. Uh, very slowly, but it's getting there. Didn't have a lot of um, things to make jokes uh, other than the obvious today, but don't worry. There's plenty more are coming. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you all for joining me. And if you'd like to see more of this, please do hit that follow button so you know when we go live. Uh, head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. There's a schedule there. Um, if you hover over one of the options in the nav bar, there's a schedule. Trust me. I know. <laughs> it's there somewhere. 
Um, we also have a YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Or just search for Linux Gamecast on the um, on little search bar on YouTube. Th these streams usually end up on YouTube at some point. And if you don't believe the title when it says, Oh yeah, Fallout 3 on Linux. is That didn't look like Linux. Well, trust me, it is. Mostly because the game isn't crashing half the time. Like Windows 10. <laughs> I'm not making that up. <laughs> you should look at the Steam forums for this game. But yeah, Linux is what we do, and even if we play games that were originally intended for other um, platforms, we if we can play them, we will play them, and well... If you'd like to hear more linux -y news, tune in tomorrow for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Tune in on Thursday for Jordan and Ven uh, streaming something, possibly, maybe, who knows. On Friday, Ven will be streaming something as well. And of course, on Saturday, Linux Gamecast Weekly, the titular show, as it were, will be aired right here, live. So yeah, don't forget to tune in then. And once again... Thank you. Bye-bye.